A very common way to rate sports teams is to attach points to their wins and ties, something like this. For each win, the team gets two points. For each tie, the team gets one point, and no points for the loss. In an equation format, remember that equations have an equal sign in them, equation, then we could look at it like this. The total points equals 2 times their number of wins, plus 1 times their number of ties. As the league's math expert, teams are asking you how they can figure out how many points they have at any time during the year. They don't want to wait for the sports news the next day. They want to be able to figure it out right away. But the number of wins and ties can vary day to day. So how will you help them? Well, you want to send them this equation. That's the relationship between wins and ties and points. But to make it read easier, let's replace the number of wins with a W for wins. And we can get rid of the multiplication sign here, as it's understood by our teams that when you have a number right beside a letter like this, it means, by default, that we're supposed to multiply these together. Then we use a plus sign here to add the additional points. And let's replace the number of ties with a T. Again, it's understood that one T means one times whatever T is. Okay. And so we have a nice equation now to share with the teams. And we can clarify, just to make sure if anybody's new and gets confused, we can write where W equals the number of wins and T equals the number of ties. And that should make it clear for everybody. So this is our equation to share, where the W and the T can vary. And that's why we call them variables. So well done. You sent out your formula to all the teams and they're able to use it. The Vancouver Canucks at this point in the year have seven wins and three ties. For them, the W equals seven and the T equals three. So plugging those into your equation and they'll get the total points two times W is seven plus one times T is 3, so 14 plus 3 equals 17 points. Excellent. The Calgary Flames, at this point in the year, they have 6 wins and 4 ties. For them, W equals 6 and T equals 4, so plugging those into your same equation, and they would get 12 plus 4 or 16 points. So, the same equation was used by each team, but their wins and ties varied. Therefore, with the different values for these variables, the points were different. The Canucks have 17 points, while the Flames have 16 points. Working with variables like this is called algebra. Algebra is all about solving real-life problems by using relationships and variables to represent values that will change or we don't know yet. Kind of like W for wins or T for ties from our previous example. Given that, we can look at loads of different patterns in this world. The variable names could be any letter or any symbol or even words. Within math courses, learning algebra is more about how to deal with different types of relationships. Thus, we often skip over the application part and jump right into the manipulation of variables and relationships. Thus, it's common just to use X and Y in many of our algebra problems within our math courses. Given that, there's nothing magical about X and Y. Any letter or symbol would work the same. 